how's it going guys mutomo here uh back again with another video so guys i'm doing as many videos as possible so that i can practice my fluency and it's working now guys in today's video we'll be retouching this amazing image right here and i really like how i perfect every i perfected everything on a uh, camera so the first thing we're going to do guys we'll be cleaning a background let me just undo everything so that we can start everything afresh now the first thing i'm going to do um i'll clean this uh soft box showing right here and then i'll just drag this to this side here so that it can be clean and then i'll just zoom in zoom out slightly let's clean this area right here slightly so that it can be clean as clean as possible yes i like how everything is looking nice let me just clean this uh, few white particles here on the ground so that we can remove them perfectly now this is already looking very nice but guys if you can see our image we have the face is lighter than some of our other body parts so what we need to do i'll come here to micro dodge and burn and run my action with, of micro dodge and burn of course i believe everyone has this action if you don't have just dm me and i'll send you the actions so when you open the, you click this down uh, arrow here to open the action then select the dodge and then then what you just undo undo i don't know what's doing okay so what you do go to your brush or select b on your keyboard press b on your keyboard and then let's reduce the flow to something like two now let's brush the darker parts of our model skin so that the image will have a nice skin tone perfect i like how it's looking now and the next thing we're going to do we're going to even the model skin tone so i'll just select micro dodge and burn and the background layer press shift and then press background layer and then merge everything together like that merge layers perfectly i'll control j once come to my actions and then run the even skin tone action and what i'm going to do i'm going to sample the shadows from this grant grantient right here we're going to sample uh highlights that's the highlight and then i sample the mid tones right there let me sample the shadows right here somewhere like there then okay okay right and then i'll come back down here and select my subject so select subject if you're using the recent photoshop you just need to click down here and select your subject automatically this is photoshop 2024 and it's working amazing so after this i'll come here to uh create a layer mask right here and then press alt in your keyboard and drag this up here like that and then say yes and then activate the uh, layer again so what you can see is we have a same even skin tone from the face to the legs but you can see it has also spilled on the on the dress so what you need to do uh press the slash key on your keyboard to create this uh, red like mask and then let's um pick your brush make sure the foreground color is black and flow 100 opposite of 100 and let's brush this like this to just remove the skin tone on the model's outfit because we just want the skin tone on the skin alone and i like retouching images where most of the skin is showing because the photos always come out very very nice guys this might be a long tutorial but stay tuned because it will be amazing and just in case you're using the retouch academy if you can check on your retouch academy in case you don't have this action for the evening skin tone or you don't you don't know how to even skin tone uh, you can go to your retouch academy and run the magical skin tone and just apply it the same way i've applied it on this image and will look just exactly the same perfect let's remove it on the air and then now on the eyes and on the mouth and that way we love our even skin tone let's remove it on the eyes like this
perfect skin tone we get perfect skin tone through our gradients i'll go back to my even skin tone remember the even skin tone we're still using the gradient map and the gradient editor so you go back to the uh gradient map and then right click right here and then open the gradient editor and then select legacy gradient and then come here and select photographic toning and then say okay and say okay now this is the skin tone which we need now to apply all the whole of your model skin so that everything will look uh smooth and perfect so i uh, press alt on your keyboard and drag the previous selection with your already removed from the outfit and everywhere and then you can see we have a model with a very nice skin tone now what i need to do i'll just control uh press shift uh select the event skin tone on the top then press shift and then select the background right here and then uh merge everything together that's perfect then control j twice right uh let's disable the layer one copy and then enable we can call this uh texture and then we can call this color perfect let's disable the texture layer then select the color layer the guys the process we're doing now it's called frequent separation i've done so many videos on this channel about frequent separation so i uh, go to filter a uh, blur uh, uh gaussian blur but always remember i'm using a uh, the sony the cam the canon eos r and always when you convert your images from lightroom to photoshop the images always comes in 16-bit image so the method we're using this is for 16-bit images so let's go so i'll reduce the radius to as low as possible and then i'll select a textured area on our model skin where i feel the textures are really high and then let's raise this until we see it disappear so for me four is okay i can't see any texture at four and then say okay then go to select the texture layer i uh, go to image apply image and then let's select the color of course and make sure the blending mode right here is add where the difference comes when you're using uh eight bit image you always put subtract here but our image is 16 bit image so we're using add right here so uh opacity 100 scale to offset of zero and then invert and then say okay let's change the blending mode to linear light and let's just uh create a black and white on top here so that we can see the highlights and the shadows perfectly and let's go guys i'll just fast forward this the brushing process so that you can I, this video won't be as long as possible but if you have followed the steps up to this level your images you you are already at a very good uh place you are very how will i put it you are in the right uh process or you're in the right place so the next thing you need to do we need to if you want to rotate your image press r on your keyboard so that you can see i will rotate my images for a better uh visuals or for easier brushing so let's go how the image is looking if i can put the texture and the uh, color in one group and show you the before and after you can see how our image is looking and the reason our image looks color graded is because 
we already used the legacy gradient photographic toning that's how image is looking perfect the next thing you're going to do we're going to do a uh, dodge and burn and what we need to do we just need to enhance the highlights perfectly so that they can look amazing i'll just go ahead and delete this black and white right here so that we can remain with our uh, frequency separation group here let's just call this frequency separation frequency anyway that's okay with me so the next thing i go come here and run my global dodge and burn action and then create a black and white on top here perfect then what i um, i'll go ahead and select the uh, dodge select the uh brush there and then let's reduce the flow to at least uh one and then let's zoom in slightly let's enhance this highlight right here now that's looking nice let's come here and let's enhance this right here perfectly uh, guys i believe everyone knows how to remove blemishes so for me what i'll do i'll go ahead and let's merge everything together right here or control shift alt and t to create a merge layer i'll go ahead to my plugins go to filter and then select the retouch for me and then retouch for me ill this will help me remove all the remaining blemishes on my model skin and maybe do a slight dodge and burn to perfect the skin tones and our image will be ready And now guys since i'm done with moving all the blemishes on our model skin the next thing i'm going to do i'll just go ahead and run uh the uh, retouch for me dodge and burn to perfect the skin tone but for that i'll just control g once and let's call this uh dodge and burn guys what uh retouch for me does it doesn't actually retouch for you but you need to know how to apply to mix everything frequency separation re removal of blemishes and dodge and burn so that you can get an amazing image so i'll go ahead and run the retouch for me dodge and burn and then right here i have to select the full length portrait so that i need it on the whole image guys uh because uh this already done so i'll just go ahead and uh color grade this image and our image will be perfectly ready so this already is looking nice so i'll go select selective color and then go to let's let's go to reds and let's push the red the cyan's to 13 and let's say the yellow to this other side let's go to yellows let's push the, the cyan's to this side and maybe the yellows to this side like that not so much somewhere there and then i'll go ahead and run my i'll go ahead and run my uh, preset or my lat so that uh, it also works on the white and let's reduce the opacity slightly like that and let's reduce the opacity of the selective color to that level like that let's increase the opacity of the lat slightly and let's see how our image looks let's call this color group let's call this color grading color ready perfect uh, before and after before and after i like how it's looking so what i, I need to control j uh, once on the let's de de disable the color grading then on the dodge and burn control j once 
then select subject because I don't really want the colors to go on the background I just want the colors to remain on the image specifically guys these are not more of a tutorial but how I normally edit my images so create a layer mask and then create a layer mask on the color grading then press alt and drag this up there like that before and after and then let's reduce the opacity slightly always make sure it applies to every single part of the model skin and i like how everything is looking right now the next thing we're going to do we're going to uh clean the background i'll merge everything together or let me just control shift alt and he and then select subject Okay, so I'll come here and perfect my selection by, uh, <laughs> let's remove yeah, that way. I'll, I like how it's looking, and then go to uh, select, uh, modify, and then select uh, expand, and then four is okay. Then create a layer mask, then control shift alt and T, then press control and then press this. And then create a layer mask then press that uh, uh control j to create a copy sorry guys for that and then uh control shift alt and i to invert the selection then control um j to create a copy and then go to filter blur uh, gaussian blur let's drag this like that so that we can clean the background as much as possible i think that's already is looking nice and then let's put let's put all this in a group slightly and let's reduce the opacity slightly that's perfect i like how it's looking right now it's really looking nice okay and then control shift alt and t to create a mud layer and then pick your uh, spot healing brush tool or healing and then let's just clean this box slightly so that we can get a more of seamless box you can also clean but i don't want, i didn't want to clean our outfit because to remove because out of the pattern but no problem you can do this filter then liquefy let's simplify this part like that then a higher slightly just like how everything is looking then say okay perfect nice guys that's all for today's video hope you enjoyed this video because uh, for me i really enjoyed doing this tutorial if you like this video don't forget to uh, like share and subscribe to this i'm uploading as many videos as possible both educational and also entertainment and also tutorials so uh, if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video peace out